Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. This is Jason bringing you today's episode. And today is going to be another one of those episodes for the dealers out there. This is for the newer dealers, the ones that have just, just came out of dealing school or have only been dealing for a few months and uh, are still a little bit shaky on, on some of the, the more basic stuff. But we're going to talk about the presses that every dealer, every newer dealer, absolutely must no. A very common thing for a lot of new dealers, even, especially dealers in the dealing school, but also right after they get out of the dealing school, is they want to start playing with black. They want to start playing with black and with purple. Right? They want to start playing with the $500 chips, $100 chips. They start practicing presses on those and, and, and how you're going to press from this to that. And you're dealing you know, from 300 to 500 to, you know, to 900 to 1500, whatever it may be. Um, and they also do that during the dealing school. The thing is, that's silly. Every dealer wants to do it. It's silly. When you first start dealing, your first year, really, you're go going to deal with black chips. You're going to deal with purple chips. You may even deal with yellow chips, but 99.9% .9 of your dealing is going to be with white, or with white, with, well, with white, yes, but with red and with green. Right? That is 99.9% .9 of your dealings. What's going to make you a better dealer is mastering the red and the green. What's going to make you noticed is mastering the red and the green. What's going to impress the boxes and the floors is mastering the red and the green. In fact, doing some fancy move with black when black comes out on the table when you're at a breaking casino is not only going to, going to not going to impress the box, it's going to do the exact opposite. It's going to irritate them, right? Because you need to be very precise. They don't trust you. They haven't seen you deal yet. And you're not at a place where that kind of action is the sort where they just shrug it off. When you're at a breaking casino, as soon as there's black action out there, it doesn't matter how good you are, you need to slow down. You need to cut it out properly in the come. They need to see every step, them and the, the cameras, everybody. So you don't need to learn that stuff. What you need to learn are the most basic presses, which I am about to show you. As a quick aside for anybody out there that is looking for an online casino, I finally found one. I know I've mentioned this in our other videos as well. Bet US has craps, has roulette, has a great sports book, takes cash and crypto. You can pay out in either one as well. Has live dealer games, and from all my research into it, is a legit casino. Um, the great thing with, with online casinos, either one, you're not anywhere near a, uh, a uh, casino to play at, Two, you want to do your sports betting, even though it has been legalized, it's still not everywhere yet. Or three, you want a smaller limit so that you can practice your strategies. That's what I use it for, for roulette. Uh, so check the links down below if you're interested. I link to some of their sign-up specials to get some free money. And uh, yeah, otherwise, let's take a look. So the first ones are the obvious ones. All right? I'm going to set this up as if it was a $5 table. Those are extremely rare to find now. You need to learn your single unit presses, which are pretty easy. The first one, you just give them the cap because any standard press on a six or eight, you just give them the cap. But then after that, you want to press it up one unit. You're going to take one, leave one, stack the rest up, give it to them. Take one, leave one. Then, pressing up one unit, you're just going to take the cap, add it to the payout, give them the rest. After that, you're going to cut out 30 for two, give them the remainder, cut out, set up your 30. Now, if you want to go beyond that, you can either have them drop you a dollar or you cut it out with your white. Now, 36 pays 42. Well, if you're pressing it up one unit, you're going to 42. It's pretty basic, so you just reverse them. You just put the payout right there in the cum line, or right there on the bed. Now, 42 pays 49. If they want to press it up one unit, they're going to 48. So just take a dollar off the payout, add it to the bet, and give it to them. The rest of the payout becomes the new bet. Fairly basic. Now, 48 pays 56. Right? If they press it up one unit, they're going to 54. So you take these three white, add it to the other white and the green, set it up. 54 pays 63. If they say they want to press it up one unit, what I typically recommend is cut out 65 for two. Keep 60. There you go. Now, we've got other videos that show these at a slightly slower speed. Because I'm trying to show multiple press moves here, in this video, I'm going. I'm doing this at kind of a quicker speed, not full speed, but pretty close, just so you guys can see. Uh, so you guys can see all of them that we need to show you guys. Now, let's look at dual presses because these, the single presses and the dual presses, are what you absolutely must know to begin with. All right. So, the dual presses. Well, pay seven. They have to throw five bucks in the first time. 
because you're going to 12. Well, you've got 12 right here, so all you need to do is combine your two bets, move them over to 1, and your payout plus the 5 they threw in is your other one. Now, 12 pays 14. You would give them the new cap, take one, leave one. Now, both of them are at 18. 18 pays 21. Now, you could have them drop you a dollar, or you can just cut it out with 6 white. Take one, take the red, give it to them, now take one, leave one. And you go from 18 to 24. 24 pays 28. 24 pays 28. If you're going up, you need two green. So you cut out your two green for 22. You're at 30 each. Now, from there, very rarely do you go. Do you continue with the dual presses? There, there are moves, but they're extremely rare. So those you don't need to know. You need to know your dual presses going up to 30 from either from six dollars each or 12 dollars each. You absolutely have to know those. Now, for any other dual presses, oh, by the way, we do have a Discord channel finally set up, so if you guys want to chat, give us some ideas, chat amongst yourselves, maybe coordinate some Vegas trips, check the link down below. It should have an invite code that should work. I've had it once expire on me already, even though it's not supposed to. If it does, let me know. I'll fix it. Uh, but check down below, links to the Discord channel. Uh, come join us. Be part of the community. Uh, so other presses that you really need to know. One of the more basic ones. It's a twelve dollar six or eight. If the player throws in five dollars and tells you they want to go up to thirty, you give them a dollar change because this is a a uh, very standard press. It's kind of one of those where, as a dealer, you're supposed to cut everything out into the come, build it up properly. But in reality, you're going to give them their dollar change, set up their thirty dollar bet, All right? Because twelve pays fourteen, so that means you have twenty six dollars to work with. So you need four extra dollars to go up to 30. If they just throw you $4, that's even simpler. And once again, you kind of shortcut this. If the player throws you $4 and says take me to 30, you're just going to drop a green and go. Quicker and more efficient. And again, it's kind of a standard press, so the player should know it, the dealer should know it. The box should know it. 18. 18 going up to 30. 18 going up to 30. One of the things that absolutely kills me, not so much in a break-in house. Break-in house are going to be okay with this up to a point. But for an experienced dealer, anybody that's been dealing for more than three or four months, it absolutely kills us when we see them break out $21 and then go and build up the bet from there. You know you need a green. You know you need a green. One thing you were taught during your dealing school is how to overpay. You know you need a green. So if it pays $21, you need a green, but you don't want to pay 25 because you don't have four ones to work with. But you can pay 26 for five and go to 30. There you go. And then give the player the rest. Okay? So again, now most of us would actually skip the cut once we've been dealing for a while. If someone said, I want to go, to go up to 30. We would have our dollar in our hand, get rid of the red that we're going up for. There you go. Some players will actually throw you in a dollar just so you can give them 10 chains instead of giving them nine. Another one that every dealer should know. 18, $18, six or eight, player throws you $3. Right? Player's throwing you $3. Very, very, very basic bet. They need that $3 to bring you up. 42. Goes up to 42. Okay. Very simple. Because you have $18, it pays 21, that's $39 to work with. You need three extra dollars to go to 42. So again, this is one that we don't really set up. But we don't really go through all the motions. Player throws out the, uh, the $3. We don't even bother cutting out the the uh, 26 for one. We just set it up. Grab everything, set it up. Basic bet that you should know how to pay. This right here is one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites because even if you do it the long way, the, the proper way, it actually doesn't add much time. Somebody says, you know, hey, I want to go up to 90 from 42. No problem. Throw a buck. Add the proper number of greens, and you're done. Just throw a buck, and you're good. Why does that work? Because even if you went the long way, 
from 42. If they said, I want to go up to 90. You're going to pay 50 for one. You're going to, and you set up 90. And, oh, look, look at that. i got a buck left. So for the most part, someone says, take me to 90. We just toss them a buck, set up the bet. $90. Very important. Very important. On the five and nine, the player throws you a dollar. If you wanted to be completely proper, you would pay 25 for 11. But more often than not, they throw you a dollar and you just set up the bet. Okay. Now here's another one of the why. Says I want to go to 21 or 25, or says I want to go all the way up, 20, 25, 35, or 36. Any sort of press here. Again, why are you cutting out all the red? You know you need a green. Cut out 26 for 5, and either give them 11 change, give them 1 change, or give them no change, depending on how they want to set up their bet, where they want to press to. Again, you can overpay. It's allowed. It's expected. Why would you not do it? Now, there are a few oddball bets on the 4 and 10 that some people will do, but they are so rare that it's okay if you don't have a quick, smooth rotation to them the first time. When those players bet consistently every single time, after the first 5, 10 minutes or so, you better be smooth and quick about setting them up. The biggest thing with craps, and the biggest thing as a dealer that we look for from a box's perspective, and suit the supervisor, the floor, or whatever, is is the dealer learning? Are they getting better? Are they paying attention to their table? So when somebody does an oddball bet, oddball press, and you have to build it up, then you go, oh yeah, okay, that's X number of change. Now the next time they do that exact same press, it should just be, okay, X number of change, here you go, and set up the bet. They want to see that you are learning and that you are paying attention to your tables. But these first sets of presses that I just showed you, very, very important. You should know those, and if you don't, you need to know those. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you find it interesting, illuminating, enlightening, at least just plain fun. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you, everybody, for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again, we want to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be, add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible. And then some video keynote, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, Unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that. But the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, SinCityLivingLV at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, 
but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I would I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see if uh, see if you can answer answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to. I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area. Please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions. Please email me and uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching, and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.